All right, good morning. We're here at Indian Hills Community College Beautiful Test Kitchen. I'm here with Scott from High V, and I am really, really excited about this prime rib roast. So yes. tell me about what uh, this cut. Well, first of all, prime rib is one of the people's favorite Christmas It's my treats. favorite, yeah. So what we're going to do today is we're going to cook a prime rib roast, and we're going to start with a bone-in roast, and we're going to bone it out and tie it back together. And your, your local high view will take care of all that for you. Okay. But uh, we just want to show you how to do it. And um, we're talking about a man of meat. And man of meat is, is off the top end of the choice category and it's hand selected for high V. So it, okay. you always want to go to high V and get your man of meat. So first of all, we're, we're going to cut the bone off the back of this. Okay. And so that's a must. Yeah. Well, you want to have the bone left on here because the bone actually gives it flavor. Okay. You can buy a boneless roast, and, but it's, you want to keep the bone. That's okay. just a better deal to have the bone right here. We're going to cut the rib off the back here. We're going to tie it back on. Now, your okay. Hy-Vee butcher shop will take care of that for you. You okay. ain't got to do that. Um, and um, just tie this on. So now, what is that doing? Well, when you get done cooking this, you can cut the strings off, and the, you ain't got to mess with the bones this way. Oh, perfect. So that way you ain't got to take care of it. Okay. And it's, it's simple and convenient for you. Okay. I'm going to tie this on here. So tie that. So when you go and order this, uh, it'll already come prepared like this. You can, if they ask. don't, you can ask them to do it, and they'll, they'll know how to do okay. it. Okay. Just tell them to tie the, cut the roast, cut the bones off the back of it, and tie them back on for you. Okay. And a lot of people do buy the boneless ones because it's simpler and they got to deal with it. Right. And money for money, it's about the same thing because you can't eat the bones. You pay a little more for the boneless, but you okay. get the same amount of meat at the end of the day. So. So how much uh, are we looking to spend on this? And well, these are these are in the seven ninety nine category, eight dollars a pound. This okay. one here is about five pounds. It's about forty dollars. So it's a very expensive piece of meat, but it's Excellent. Okay, so for a family of four, how much are we looking? Well, normally I would suggest a pound per person. Okay. Unless you want leftovers, and if you have a lot of kids, you could you would use less. Also, it just depends on a lot of it. Depends. I just as a normal rule, if you have adults, a yeah. pound a person. Okay. So five pound rows, five people. Oh, hey, if works, you want, if you want well. leftovers, a little bit more. If you have a lot of kids, you won't need right. near as much too. So well, I like my leftovers, so I I'll get too. a lot more. <laughs> Prime rib is good any time of the day. Uh, yeah, even breakfast. <laughs> All right, great. So you're going to wrap this up. Yep, so we got this, this tied up. And whenever you cook it and you get done cooking, you're just going to cut the strings off there. And you can even eat the bone. You use the bones as a, as a bear bar barbecue and we cook those some great. other time. But that's what we got. It's looking good. All right, well, when we come back, we are going to season it. And we'll be right back. All right, welcome back again. We're at the beautiful Test Kitchen at Indian Hills Community College. I'm here with Chef Gordon Rader. And it is time to season the prime rib roast. What it are we going to be doing? Well, I want to eat it just as quick as possible, too. <laughs> right? I want you to look at the marbling in this, too. And, we, you know, they talk about fat, but fat is flavor. I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the center cut. We're going to go ahead and, because you've got the chuck in, you've got the loin in. The chuck's a little bit wider, okay? okay? And there's going to be some kind of different cooking times. So this is center cut. This is really nice. Okay. What we're going to do first, you don't have to use any oils. There's so much fat on it now. Okay. So we're going to go by with some salt, and I like kosher salt, okay. okay? And you can use any salt you want, but I just find it lays flat. Okay. Crack black pepper. So just rub it all over it. Yep, and rub it all over. And then we're going to do some fresh thyme. Okay. Uh, this is leaf thyme, actually. This is the fresh thyme if you get a chance to pick it up. And smell this. It's really, really aromatic. Ooh, Anything really grilled or roasted is great. Now I'm using, this is a pan that I would not normally use at home with a conventional oven. Okay. I'd use something flat, a roasting pan, and you're going to start it out at 350. Okay. okay. Bottom, if you want to put some vegetables, that would be great to add some okay. flavor to it. And we're just going to put this just right in here. Put the whole thing in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. And this is going to go into the oven. Okay. 350, about an hour and a half. 140, 145, if you want to pull it out at medium rare, it's going to have some carryover time, some okay. cook over time. So, so what do you like to cook it to? Medium like rare? Medium or? rare yeah. Okay, me too. Yeah, because I don't want to cook it any farther than right. that. We're going to make some quick sauce to go with it too. Okay. We're going to pretend like we've got that in the oven. Horseradish. Horseradish sauce, because everybody asked for it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Very simple. Sour cream, horseradish, and a little okay. black pepper. So we're going to take... Seems like an interesting flavor. It is a great flavor. It's a little bit of spice yeah. to it. You know, and depending on how much spicy you like, you know, be careful how you use it and don't like breathe this spicy. in. It's very spicy. And a little bit of black pepper. Okay. And that's really it. We're going to mix that up. And then that's it. Put this it? in the oven and we're going to eat this soon, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Should we put it in the oven? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, so, so we're going to come on over here. Because we've got a lot of wires here. <laughs> okay. All right, we're putting it in. We're put it right, and I'm going to put it in the bottom part of the okay. oven to start with. And then about halfway through that cooking segment, you can pull it up closer to the top. You, know, you have to watch the thing and see if it browns. It's going to brown in the oven naturally, right. but I don't want it to get black. 
Okay. All right. Well, perfect. And Ella, we'll send it back to you. All right, welcome back. And with the magic of television, our prime rib roast is ready to be taken out of the oven. Yeah, that hour and a half went by quick, didn't I know, it? really huh? did. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. That mm, looks so good. And I'm going to so move good. right over okay. here. And I'm going to set this here. Okay. I'm going to take oh it out. Gosh, that smells so good. Okay, and try not to poke it with the fork, just okay. using to pull it out. And you, whatever utensils you have, okay. you can use. I wish you guys could smell this. This now, smells awesome. Let's take the fat out of the pan. Okay. Okay, and you can use this for roux if you want to make a roux to thicken this up. But we're going to do an au jus. You see in the bottom of the pan, all this is called fond, F O N D. Yep. All the caramelized flavor here is just great. We don't want to waste it. So we're going to go to the stove. Okay. And I can see we I'm have wiring of pieces. <laughs> no, no, no. This is going to be all right. We're okay. not going to throw it around. So we're going to turn this up on high. Okay. Now, at home, I get a can of Campbell's beef broth or consomme. Okay. Because that's going to really accentuate the flavors. Or you can just use straight water and salt. Okay. You don't have to use the salt if you use the Campbell's. And so, basically, you're going to get the pan hot. See what bubbles coming mm -hmm. off of it. Be sure you get a spoon. Okay. Because you want to scrape all of that off the bottom. Okay. Oh, look at sizzle. And so you've got the natural color, you know, from the roasting of the yep. proteins. And we're just going to stir that around. And again, what I'll do is come back with a little salt. Okay. And then we'll bring this over to the to the actual beef because I know you want to eat. I do too, right? I'm hungry. I haven't had my breakfast. Oh, this okay. is my breakfast. Yeah, we'll get some prime coffee and, roast. and we'll fry some eggs. What? <laughs> that okay. sounds good. Coffee and prime rib roast. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to be cutting it. Yep. Okay. Take the strings off of it. We tie it on here. I'm going to keep okay. working this. Oh, and that and looks see beautiful. The, the, rib, the bones just pop off the back side here. Which, that's great eating right oh, there. Those are the yeah, oh, I like uh, ribs. Fantastic. Look at it. This is perfect. I'm going to tell you right now. I can just tell where it bounces on the... Yeah. It bounces? It's bouncy. I've never, <laughs> never heard of it. See how it's tender, still nice and rare? Uh, yep. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, that looks great. So is it time to try it yet? <laughs> try it. Let me get a little bit of this jus. This is the part I love. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in this and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Okay. And you see that's a nice color and that's a natural jus. Now think about this. You come back and make a prime rib sandwich okay. or a French dip later on. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more. Boy, that smells good. Yeah, that's great, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. And well, what's kind of wine do we want this today? This is for the big, big boys, the big red wines, the Cabernet Sauvignon. This goes great with this kind of beef. Right. And this I'm gonna, is a it's perfect okay if pairing I right here. Beef? Yeah, sure. Great. Why not? Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Well, mm -hmm. oh, it's great. Well, I'm eating this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get some later, right? <laughs> we'll send it back to you.